Hello guys and welcome to another video. Today we're going to revisit the repeated string solution that I provided earlier, sometimes the last three weeks I think. And sometimes I like to redo these questions and just go over it a little bit and see if there's some minor improvements that I could do with them so that I could put them on GitHub and stuff like that. And uh, today I was actually thinking about this problem and I realized that there are some minor improvements that I could have done um, compared to the first video that I posted. So um, I would like to actually um, update it and I just don't want to put the code on GitHub because then again somebody can find it and not really understand what's going on. So I'm making a video and maybe I will make some as well for my project order series because some of the solutions back then I really didn't think about them as much um, as, I'm, as I do now. So anyway, so this problem is fairly simple. We're given a string and then we're given an nth length and we have to build the string onto that nth value. So here we have a string that has three characters. We can build the string up to 10 characters. So meaning that if we take the value n, we mod it by the length of the string, it will give us three, right? We count the number of a's in this string, and the initial string is two. So uh, two times three will give us six. However, we have a remainder here, which is going to be 10 minus nine. And that's going to give us one. So we get the substring of this uh, string here. And then that gives us one for the first letter. So we get six plus one will give us the answer seven, right? And so the way I did this before was I actually used two for loops. And there isn't a reason why I should have used two for loops for this. I mean, there were not inner for loops, but um, it was still an O of N solution. But I think that we could have improved on it a little bit. Um, so if we had our initial string, uh, uh, A, B, A, we can build it like this. All right, so you can see that this is actually equal to nine characters, which is less than 10. And which means that if we took uh, 10 mod three, which is the length of the characters, it gives us one. So we need to grab the first character here in this original string, which is gonna be A. So if we take um, the count for the initial string, which is going to be um, two A's in that string, we multiply it by the one, two, three uh, partitions that we can get. That's less than 10 uh, plus the remaining substring. Uh, this is going to equal to seven, right? So the thing is, we know that the substring, right, is going to be part of the initial count, which means that we don't really actually need two for loops for this. We just need one for loop and um, what we do is we keep two variables. We know that if we take um, the initial counts on, in the first variable, which is going to be, let's call this value A, it's gonna be equal to two. And then let's have another value B, which is going to be the substring is gonna to equal to one, right? So we can say that if, if I is less than the uh, remainder, then we can increment A and we can also increment B. Because we know that at some given point, A and B is gonna have the same character. However, um, if uh, I is greater than, than R, that means that we only need to increment A. So we have another uh, L statement um, that only increments a if this fails. So uh, we just do uh, a plus plus if the other one, the, the, the if statement fails, right? We still have to check for the character um, in the second one, uh, just in case that uh, it's not an actual a, but we're gonna discuss that when we write the code. All right, so if we did that, we're gonna get um, two, and then one, and then we just have to take A times the partition, which is going to be three plus the, plus the B, right? So it's going to be A 
plus times the partition, um, A times the partition plus B, which is going to give us 7 anyway. All right, so with this explanation, I think we have some basis where we can build some code. And um, I haven't built no code for this. But let's go ahead and, and implement something. All right, so what we need is we need two variables. So I'm going to say long a gonna equal to 0 and b is going to equal to 0. All right. Then uh, we need our uh, our partition. I'm going to say int uh, p is going to equal to n divided by s dot length. Let's spell that right. And then um, what we need is the remainder. So I'm going to say um, int. Uh, R is going to equal to uh, n mod s dot length. All right, so now we can create an initial for loop and say for uh, int i equals to zero, i is less than s dot length, i. Do plus plus i there. So next, we're going to say that uh, if right um, i is less than r, then here we need to also check to see if the character is actually a before we do the increment. So we're going to say that if uh, s dot char at i right and I mean what we can do here is we can also use um, the XOR operator uh, we know that if we draw two numbers of uh, that are identical we get the value zero so we can actually use that as a check I know that actually speeds up the problem or not maybe it doesn't um, you can replace that with an equal equal to so I'm gonna say if that is or the character a is uh, equal equal to zero. Um, what we're going to do is increment both a and b. So we're going to say a uh, plus plus a and plus plus b. All right. So what we're doing here is we know that we're going to get a substring. We know that the substrings are going to align with the first count. If that is the case, then why don't we just go ahead and increment both? Um, what variables okay however if it's not the case where i is less than r then we need to go ahead and actually check for the um, entire string okay so in this case uh, do control z here and control c and then here we can add an else block okay and in the else block we just have to go ahead and check and see if that character is um, a as well um, and if it is, we just increment um, A here. So B is only going to keep part of the substring, and A is going to keep track of the entire string, right? So if the substring here was A, right, B would equal 1, while A is going to go through the entire thing, so A is going to equal 2, right? So once we're done with that, we just need to go ahead and um, multiply so we can return um, we can return a times p plus b yeah and this should be it all right so let's go ahead and run this And there is an error. And what is it saying? Okay, so let's let's go ahead and fix this. Uh, I guess we could just make this into a long 
and that should solve the problem. And I think we want us to do the same thing for this one. Or else I will have to do a cast. And that's yeah, fine, we just did them as long. So let's go ahead and run those. And that's that length. Literally, I think I need some sleep. All right, there we go. And let's submit. All right, guys, this will be it for this video. Uh, if you guys have any problems or questions, please let me know. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.